All right, welcome back to another GridDB video. In this one, we are going to be marrying NiFi Apache along with GridDB. Um, if you're wondering what NiFi Apache is, and if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I am because I looked it up. And second, um, NiFi is an ETL tool, so um, it can help you extract, transform, and load your data. So extract meaning, let's say I give it a uh, CSV file, it'll take all that data, Transform, meaning I can clean it however I want. So for example, if the timestamp um, column is kind of a little different than we want, we can transform that. And then finally load, load into our desired endpoint, which in our case would be GridDB. Um, so you do all of this through a series of like flowchart type environment. It's kind of GUI based. Um, yeah, it can be really good if you have a lot of, lot of data to, to handle. Um, so for this video, I will um, download it, run it, and I'll show you how to connect to GridDB, and then that'll be the end of the video, okay? So let's go ahead and download first. Um, so I'll go here to the releases section, and I'll download the binary here. Um, I'll just download this guy that uh, we get here. Uh, it's kind of a big file. So um, yeah, as that loads, let's look up the NiFi um, quick start maybe. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Starting, uh, you just do NiFi script start. Um, okay, nothing really. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, just killing time anyway. So let's unzip this. Um, and then when it unzips, we'll head inside that directory. We'll change some configs, um, and then um, we'll see what happens. So let's change the config for the NiFi properties. And here we want to search for NiFi web. Um, and here we see that we're starting on the local host like uh, most other um, web apps, but we want to change this to 000 because this is actually a remote machine and I want to remote into this thing. So let's set it like this and um, keep the port as is. And notice it's HTTPS, so there's an SSL cert in here. Um, we're not going to mess with the non SSL version because if the SSL exists, there's really no reason to. Okay, uh, let's save this. And I think that's honestly it. Um, so we can use the bin uh, NiFi script to start. Oh, I keep forgetting this portion. So um, this runs in the background, actually, the start command. So this is normal behavior. But if we look at the logs, um, it says, um, I guess it doesn't say anything, but it fails because there is no Java home set. Um, so you need to set that. So I do have a command here to show how to find your Java home. Um, so here, so update alternatives um, will allow you to, if you have multiple like Java's, for example, set up, you can choose, oh, instead of using this one as a default, I want to change it to, let's say, Java 8 instead. Um, which is very handy, uh, but I'm using it here just to show us the path because otherwise it's kind of hard to tell where it is. Um, and then you can um, do an export. So I'm going to just search for mine because I already did this earlier. Uh, so export Java home, point it there. And then this time we can do a NiFi, uh, whoops, bin NiFi script. And then this time I'll do run. Uh, run will, um, it's ready. Uh, okay. Stop this first. Okay, then we do a run. Um, so like I said, start starts it in the background and run, run it in the foreground. Um, so you don't have to do it this way, but since I'm kind of having issues with it starting or stopping, let's try it there, okay? Um, so let's... Okay, cool, that works. I accept the risk. I have mistyped. They will redirect me in five seconds. Okay. Um, and then here, there is a login. So you might be wondering like, hey, is it admin admin, like everything else? And the answer is no, it is not. So the way to grab your um, password, um, okay, so this is why you don't run it in the foreground because then you've tied up your terminal. So let's do, start instead <clears throat> and now it's gonna run in the background and you can of course always check with status 
you'll see it says here it's running um, okay so the way to check is um, it generates it for you in the logs so you can do um, cat logs um, nifi dot log grip generate I think that should work um, I guess cleaner is generated um, so here you see generated username so it's in your logs so you can of course just manually hunt this in your logs so user will be this guy and password will be this guy save I don't want to save okay and now this looks kind of confusing um, so I won't get too into actually how to use this like I said I'm just going to show you how you could connect with GridDB um, so what you would do is you would grab this process group block, place it here, and let's name it, let's say, GridDB connection, add. And this will be the top, I guess. Um, and then now you click on this guy and you click on, um, on this side, there's a configuration. You go here, you go to controller services, you want to add one. And then we skip down to DB connection pool. So the DB connection pool will allow us to connect um, database type thing so in this case we want to connect through JDBC so we go here we click edit go to properties and then here you can do you know the entire um, spiel of our um, JDBC so I don't know if we need um, that but set this Driver class name I have here as well. So I'm just repurposing my Zeppelin stuff because um, I don't have this stuff memorized. But I probably should by now. And database driver locations. I believe here you do user share Java grid store jdbc.jar. And then wait time. Um, we can set this to minus one because um, 500 is kind of fast then. If it fails, you know, you won't, um, it might take longer than that, and then it will fail even though the connection is valid. Um, okay, that's it. So now you can apply this, and um, you're good. So now you can start making your connections with um, whatever you want to add, import, source, or output port, and stuff like that. All right, um, like I said, that's out of the scope for this video. I just wanted to show you how to get NiFi running and how to get your connection to your GridDB sorted. All right, thanks for watching.